Hello, my name is Doug Stapina and I'm one of your six Hood River City Councilors. Uh, today I'll be walking around the city with you, uh, telling you a little bit about what the city council has been up to in February uh, of 2024. And we're going to uh, be able to look at the signalization of Second and Oak. We're going to look at some rocks and uh, how those rocks need to be cleaned up from the street. We're going to talk about murals. Lots to see, lots to do. A couple of public service announcements before that. The first is the city is seeking applications to serve on the city budget committee, uh, as well as uh, uh, several job opportunities that we have right now. And you can head to the city website to, to look for either uh, job applications or applications for the city budget committee. Let's, uh, let's go take a walk around. So city council held our two regular meetings and we meet on the second and fourth Monday of each month. Uh, so sometimes we'll have a little bit of a gap if there's a fifth, but yeah, generally if you're looking for when we're meeting, it's the second and fourth of the month. Um, we are primarily focused on uh, collaboration with our community partners this month, actually. And we received updates from the Mid-Columbia Housing Authority on the services to the city that they perform. Uh, we also uh, met with the Columbia Area Transit, the CAT bus, uh, on our contributions to their Downtown Business Pass program. Uh, in addition to that, the Hood River County Reads proclamation for the book uh, Beloved Beasts Fighting for Life in the Age of Extinction uh, was uh, presented um, by Hood River County Reads. And uh, the Lions Club fee waiver um, was uh, uh, brought forth uh, for the families in the park. So the city wants to really encourage and, and promote uh, community. And uh, that's a good place where a lot of our community members uh, gather. And we've waived the fee for the park. And uh, Lions Club does a lot of great things. Uh, and as I'm sure you can look around the city, uh, they contribute a lot to things like parks uh, in, in the city as well. And we also had a lot of discussions around murals. Um, um, I'm standing in front of a mural right now um, that was uh, created by uh, artists uh, Nate Chavez and Nick Vick, along with uh, Forrest Andrews. And uh, believe it or not, there's not really a mural code that the city has uh, currently. And we've been hearing from people about uh, the desire to put murals in the city. Uh, we want to be able to regulate that and have uh, code to establish that. So we're, we've been having discussions around that, whether or not to allow them uh, in downtown, um, well, you know, what the uh, parameters might be. Um, in the state of Oregon, we have very, very strict ways uh, in which uh, we cannot regulate murals. So it's, it's something that requires a lot of thought, a lot of debate, and I've gotten a lot of good insight from the Landmarks Review Board, uh, a lot of other constituents, and a, and a murals uh, um, committee as well to, to be able to inform us about our decision on that. And soon we'll vote on an, an ordinance and uh, uh, what, what that will be for uh, the city going forward. All right, so I'm holding in my hand here some red rock. Uh, I grew up in uh, the state of Illinois where they salt the streets. We're lucky in Oregon to not be throwing down lots of hazardous chemicals on our streets. It's bad for vehicles, it's bad for the environment, et cetera. But we do have to clean this up. So that's something that uh, is the responsibility of all the business owners, all the residents of the city of Hood River. If you see this red rock or this black rock in front of your residence, in front of your business, please sweep it into the streets. We've actually had a lot of community uh, uh, volunteers um, come out and do some of this. Uh, we've had the city uh, in some capacities clearing some, some areas, but really need the, uh, the entirety of the city to really work to sweep this into the streets so that we can clean it up. Uh, and then for the next event, uh, we're not uh, throwing rock on top of rock. So as you can see, uh, construction has begun on the signalization of 2nd and Oak Street. Standing currently right uh, amongst all the barricades, Want to remind everybody that it is accessible for people uh, to walk through here, pedestrians, et cetera. The businesses are open. And in some of the areas that we have closed down here, there, there is the ability for cars to come in to park. So it's, it's all labeled as such on, on some of the barricades. Also, ADA ramps, uh, everything as well, uh, uh, bicycles and such are able to pass through the area. So we're anticipating that this will take uh, until about uh, Memorial Day um, and uh, have it wrapped up by then. And, uh, you know, looking forward to really just increasing, um, you know, uh, or, or improving rather traffic flow through the area for everybody downtown, for all the pedestrians, uh, for all the, the, the people that are driving cars as well. 